Novak Djokovic Novak Djokovic, often referred to by the Hippocurism Knoll, is a Serbian professional tennis player who is currently ranked world number four in men's singles tennis by the Association of Tennis Professionals. He is considered one of the greatest tennis players of all time. Djokovic holds the second highest match winning rate in the Open era, as of June 2017. Djokovic has won 12 Grand Slam singles titles, the fourth most in history, and held the number one spot in the ATP rankings for a total of 223 weeks. In majors, Djokovic has won six Australian Open titles, three Wimbledon titles, two US Open titles, and one French Open title. In 2016, he became the eighth player in history to achieve a career Grand Slam. By winning the 2016 French Open, Djokovic became the third man to hold all four major titles at once, the first since Rod Lava in 1969, and the first ever to do so on three different surfaces. Djokovic has won an all-time record of 30 Masters 1000 series titles, tied with Rafael Nadal. Djokovic's records include breaking the single-season record with six Masters titles in 2015, winning 31 consecutive ATP World Tour Masters 1000 series matches, playing in the finals at all nine ATP Masters 1000 tournaments, and being the only player to win eight of the nine events, among other titles. He has won the ATP World Tour Finals five times and was on the Serbian team which won the 2010 Davis Cup. He also won the bronze medal in men's singles at the 2008 Summer Olympics. Djokovic is the first Serbian player to be ranked number one by the ATP, and the first male player representing Serbia to win a Grand Slam singles title. Djokovic has won numerous awards, including the 2012, 2015, and 2016 Laureus World Sports Award for Sportsman of the Year, 2011 BBC Overseas Sports Personality of the Year, five-time ITF World Champion, and four-time ATP year-end number one. He is a recipient of the Order of Saint Sava, the Order of Karadord Star, and the Order of the Republica Srpska. Early and Personal Life Djokovic was born on the 22nd of May 1987 in Belgrade, senior Serbia, Yugoslavia, to parents Sr. Dan and Dijana. Novak's father is Montenegrin in origin and his mother is Croatian by background, with Novak considering himself to be Serbian. His two younger brothers, Marko and Georgia, are also tennis players with professional aspirations. A resident in Monte Carlo, Djokovic was coached by former Slovak tennis player Marian Vida from 2006 until Boris Becker took over the role of head coach in December 2013. Djokovic is a self-described fan of languages speaking Serbian, English, French, German, and Italian. He met his future wife, Jelena Ristic, in high school, and began dating her in 2005. The two became engaged in September 2013, and on 10 July 2014 the couple got married on Sveti Stefan in Montenegro, while a church wedding was held in the same place, on 12 July 2014 in the Church of St. Stephen which belongs to Priskvika Monastery. On 24 April 2014, Djokovic announced that he and Ristik were expecting their first child. His son, Stefan, was born in October 2014. Djokovic began playing tennis at the age of four. In the summer of 1993, the six-year-old was spotted by Yugoslav tennis player Jelena Jensik at Mount Kopaunik, where Djokovic's parents ran a fast food parlor. Upon seeing Djokovic play tennis, she stated, This is the greatest talent I have seen. Since Monica Selish, Jensik worked with young Djokovic over the following six years before realizing that, due to his rapid development, 
going abroad in search of increased level of competition was the best option for his future. To that end, she contacted Nikola Pilic. And in September 1999, the 12-year-old moved to the Pilic Tennis Academy in Oberschleißheim, Germany, spending four years there. At the age of 14, he began his international career, winning European championships in singles, doubles, and team competition. Djokovic is known for his often humorous off-court impersonations of his fellow players, many of whom are his friends. This became evident to the tennis world after his 2007 US Open quarterfinal win over Carlos Moya, where he entertained the audience with impersonations of Rafael Nadal and Maria Sharapova. His impersonations have also become popular on YouTube. Djokovic did an impression of John McEnroe after his fourth-round match victory at the 2009 US Open, before playing a brief game with McEnroe. Much to the delight of the audience, Djokovic is a member of the Champions for Peace Club, a group of famous elite athletes committed to serving peace in the world through sport, created by Peace and Sport, a Monaco-based international organization. Djokovic is a member of the Serbian Orthodox Church. On 28 April 2011, Patriarch Irene of Serbia awarded Djokovic the Order of Saint Salvarai class, the highest decoration of the Serbian Orthodox Church, for his contributions to monasteries of the Serbian Orthodox Church in Kosovo and Metohija, and charitable work in Serbia. He is a keen fan of Serbian football club Red Star Belgrade, Italian club AC Milan and Portuguese club SL Benfica. He is good friends with fellow Serbian tennis player Anna Ivanovic whom he has known since the two were children growing up in Serbia through Djokovic's uncle and Ivanovic's father. Juniors as a member of the Yugoslav national team, Djokovic reached the final of the 2001 Junior Davis Cup for players under 14, in which he lost his match in singles. In juniors, Djokovic compiled a singles win-loss record of 42-11, reaching a combined junior world ranking of number 24 in February 2004. At the Junior Grand Slam tournaments his best showing was at the Australian Open, where he reached the semi-finals in 2004. He did not play at Wimbledon, but he did play at the Junior French Open and Junior US Open. Start of professional career Djokovic turned professional in 2003. At the beginning of his professional career, he mainly played in Futures and Challenger tournaments, winning three of each type from 2003 to 2005. His first tour-level tournament was UMAG in 2004, where he lost to Filippo Volandri in the round of 32. Djokovic made his first Grand Slam tournament appearance by qualifying for the 2005 Australian Open, where he was defeated by eventual champion Marata Finn in the first round in straight sets, after defeating future rival Stan Islas Warinka in qualifying. However, he went on to reach the third round of both Wimbledon and the US Open, coming back from two sets down to defeat Guillermo Garcia Lopez in the former, and beating Gail Monfils and Mario Ansic in the latter. Djokovic participated in four Masters events and qualified for two of them. His best performance coming in Paris, where he reached the third round, and defeated fourth seed Mariano Puerta along the way. 2006 – First ATP titles Djokovic became one of the 40 best players in the world singles rankings after making his first quarter-final appearance at a Grand Slam event, coming at the French Open, and also by reaching the fourth round at Wimbledon that year. Three weeks after Wimbledon, Djokovic won his first ATP title at the Dutch Open in Amersfoort without losing a set. 
defeating Nicolas Massu in the final. He won his second career title at the Moselle Open in Metz, and moved into the top 20 for the first time in his career. Djokovic also reached his first career Masters quarter-final at Madrid during the indoor hardcourt season. On 9 April 2006, Djokovic clinched a decisive Davis Cup win against Great Britain by defeating Greg Ruzdski in four sets in the fourth match of the tie, giving Serbia and Montenegro an insurmountable 3-1 lead in their best-of-five series, thus keeping the country in the Group 1 Euro African zone of Davis Cup. Afterwards, Djokovic briefly considered moving from Serbia to play for Great Britain. Following this match-up, the British media spoke of Djokovic's camp negotiating with the Lawn Tennis Association about changing his international loyalty by joining British tennis ranks. The 19-year-old Djokovic, who was ranked 63rd in the world at the time, mostly dismissed the story at first by saying that the talks were not serious, describing them as the British being very kind to us after the Davis Cup. However, more than three years later, in October 2009, Djokovic confirmed that the talks between his family and the LTA throughout April and May 2006 were indeed serious. 2007, reaching the top 10 and first major final. Djokovic began 2007 by defeating Australian Chris Guccione in the final of the tournament in Adelaide, before losing in the fourth round of the Australian Open to eventual champion Roger Federer in straight sets. His performances at the Masters Series events in Indian Wells and Key Biscayne, where he was the runner-up and champion respectively, pushed him into the world's top ten. Djokovic lost the Indian Wells final to Rafael Nadal, but defeated Nadal in Key Biscayne in the quarterfinals before defeating Guillermo Canas for the title in the finals. After winning his first Master Series title, Djokovic returned to Serbia to help his country enter the Davis Cup World Group in a match against Georgia. Djokovic won a point by defeating Georgia's George Chantaria. Later, he played in the Monte Carlo Masters, where he was defeated by David Ferrer in the third round, and at the Estoril Open, where he defeated Richard Gasquet in the final. Djokovic then reached the quarterfinals of both the Internazionale d'Italia in Rome, where he lost to Nadal, and the Hamburg Masters, where he was defeated by Carlos Moya. At the French Open, Djokovic reached to his first major semi-final, losing to eventual champion Nadal. At Wimbledon, Djokovic won a five-hour quarter-final against Marcos Bagdatis. In his semi-final match against Nadal, he was forced to retire, with elbow problems in the third set, after winning the first and losing the second set. At the 2007 US Open, Djokovic's next tournament was the Rogers Cup in Montreal, and he defeated world number three Andy Roddick in the quarterfinals, world number two Nadal in the semifinals, and world number one Federer in the final. This was the first time a player had defeated the top three ranked players in one tournament since Forrest Becker in 1994. Djokovic was also only the second player after Tomas Berdic to have defeated both Federer and Nadal since they became the top two players in the world. After this tournament, Bjorn Borg stated that Djokovic is definitely a contender to win a Grand Slam. The following week at the Cincinnati Masters, Djokovic lost in the second round to Moya in straight sets. Nevertheless, he went on to reach the final of the US Open where he had five set points in the first set and two in the second set, but lost them all before losing the match in straight sets to the top-seeded Federer. Djokovic won his fifth title of the year at the BACA Tennis Trophy in Vienna, defeating Stan Isla's Warinka in the final. His next tournament was the Madrid Masters, where he lost to David Nalbandian in the semi-finals. Djokovic 
assured of finishing the year as world number three, qualified for the year-ending Tennis Masters Cup, but did not advance beyond the round-robin matches. He received the Golden Badge Award for the Best Athlete in Serbia, and the Olympic Committee of Serbia declared him the best athlete in the country. Djokovic played a key role in the 2007 playoff win over Australia by winning all his matches and helping promote the Serbia Davis Cup team to the 2008 World Group. In Serbia's tie against Russia in Moscow in early 2008, Djokovic was sidelined due to influenza and was forced to miss his first singles match. He returned to win his doubles match, teaming with Nenad Zimonic, before being forced to retire during his singles match with Nikolai Davidenko. 2008 – First major title and Olympic bronze medal Djokovic started the year by playing the Hopman Cup with fellow Serbian world number 3 Jelena Jankovic, while he won all his round-robin matches. The team lost 1-2 in the final to the second-seeded American team of Serena Williams and Marty Fish. At the Australian Open, Djokovic reached his second consecutive Grand Slam final without dropping a set, including a victory over three-time defending champion Federer in the semi-finals. By reaching the semi-finals, Djokovic became the youngest player to have reached the semi-finals in all four Grand Slam events. In the final, Djokovic defeated unseeded Frenchman Joe Wilfried Songer in four sets to earn his first Grand Slam singles title. This marked the first time since the 2005 Australian Open that a Grand Slam singles title was not won by Federer Nadal. Djokovic's next tournament was the Dubai Tennis Championships, where he lost in the semi-finals to Roddick at the Pacific Life Masters in Indian Wells. Djokovic won his ninth career singles title, needing three sets to defeat American Mardi Fish in the final. Djokovic won his tenth career singles title and fourth Master Series singles crown at the Internazionale d'Italia in Rome after defeating Warinka in the final. The following week, at the Hamburg Masters, he lost to Nadal in the semi-finals. At the French Open, Djokovic was the third-seeded player behind Federer and Nadal. He lost to Nadal in the semi-finals in straight sets. On grass, Djokovic once again played Nadal this time in the Artois Championships final in Queen's Club, where he lost in two sets. Djokovic entered Wimbledon seeded third, but lost in the second round to Safin, ending a streak of five consecutive majors where he had reached at least the semi-finals. Djokovic then failed to defend his 2007 singles title. At the Rogers Cup in Toronto, he was eliminated in the quarter-finals by eighth-seeded Andy Murray. The following week at the Cincinnati Masters, Djokovic advanced to the final, beating Nadal. In the final, he again lost to Murray in straight sets. His next tournament was the 2008 Summer Olympics. His first Olympics, he and Nenad Zimonic, seeded second in men's doubles, were eliminated in the first round by the Czech pairing of Martin Dam and Pavel Visna. Seeded third in singles, Djokovic lost in the semi-finals to Nadal. Djokovic then defeated James Blake, the loser of the other semi-final, in the bronze medal match. After the Olympics, Djokovic entered the U.S. Open seeded third, where he defeated Roddick in the quarter-finals. To a smattering of boos in a post-match interview, Djokovic criticized Roddick for accusing him of making excessive use of the trainer during matches. His run at the US Open ended in the semi-finals when he lost to Federer in four sets. In a rematch of the previous year's final, Djokovic went on to play four tournaments after the US Open. At the Thailand Open, he lost to Songer in straight sets. In November, Djokovic was the second seed at the year-ending Tennis Masters Cup in Shanghai. In his first round-robin match, he
he defeated Argentine Juan Martin Del Potro in straight sets. He then beat Nikolai Davidenko in three sets. Before losing his final round robin match against Songer, Djokovic qualified for the semi finals, where he defeated Jill Simon. In the final, Djokovic defeated Davidenko to win his first Tennis Masters Cup title. 2009, 10 finals, 5 titles and emergence of the Big Four. Djokovic started the year at the Brisbane International, where he was upset by Ernest Goldberg in the first round. At the Sydney International, he lost to Yarko Nieminen in the semi-finals. As defending champion at the Australian Open, Djokovic retired from his quarter-final match with former world number one Andy Roddick. After losing in the semi-finals of the Open 13 tournament in Marseille to Songa, Djokovic won the singles title at the Dubai Tennis Championships, defeating Ver to claim his 12th career title. The following week, Djokovic was the defending champion at the BNP Paribas Open in Indian Wells but lost to Roddick in the quarter-finals. At the Sony Ericsson Open in Key Biscayne, Djokovic beat Federer in the semi-finals, before losing to Murray in the final. Djokovic reached the final of the next ATP World Tour Masters 1000 event, the Monte Carlo Rolex Masters on clay, losing to Nadal in the final. At the Internazionale BNLD Italia in Rome, Djokovic failed to defend the title he had won the previous year, losing in the final. Djokovic was the top seed at his hometown tournament, the Serbia Open in Belgrade. He defeated first-time finalist Lukasz Kubot to win his second title of the year, as third seed. At the Madrid Open, Djokovic advanced to the semi-finals without dropping a set. There, he faced Nadal and lost despite holding three match points. The match, at 4 hours and 3 minutes, was the longest three-set singles match on the ATP World Tour in the Open era. At the French Open, he lost in the third round to German Philipp Kohlschreiber. Djokovic began his grass court season at the Jerry Weber Open where, after the withdrawal of Federer, he competed as the top seed. He advanced to the final, where he lost to German Tommy Haas. Djokovic lost to Haas in the quarterfinals of Wimbledon. During the U.S. Open Series, Djokovic made the quarterfinals of the Rogers Cup in Montreal before losing to Roddick. At the Cincinnati Masters, Djokovic defeated third-ranked Nadal in the semi-finals before losing in the final to world number. 1. Federer At the U.S. Open, Djokovic made the semi-finals, having dropped only two sets defeating Ivan Lubasic, 15th seed Radek Stepanek, and 10th seed Fernando Verdasco before being defeated by Federer. At the China Open in Beijing, Djokovic defeated Victor Hanescu, Victor Troitsky, Verdasco, and Robin Soderling en route to the final, where he defeated Marin Silic in straight sets to win his third title of the year. Djokovic then lost in the semi-finals of the inaugural Shanghai ATP Masters 1000 to Davy Denko. At the Swiss Indoors in Basel, Djokovic defeated Jan Hernic to make it to the quarter-finals, where he recovered from a deficit to defeat Warinka before going on to win his semi-final against Stepanek. In the final, he defeated home favourite and three-time defending champion Federer to win his fourth title of the year. At the last Masters 1000 event of the year at the BNP Paribas Masters in Paris, Djokovic won his first Masters 1000 title of the year by defeating Nadal in the semi-finals, before outlasting Gael Monfils in the final. Coming into the year-ending ATP World Tour Finals in London as the defending champion, Djokovic defeated Davidenko in his first round robin match before losing his second match to Soderling. Despite victory over Nadal in his third round robin match, Djokovic failed to make the semi-finals. Djokovic ended the year as the world number three. 
for the third consecutive year, having played 97 matches, the most of any player on the ATP World Tour, with a 78-19 win-loss record. In addition to leading the ATP World Tour in match wins, he reached her career best 10 finals, winning five titles. Djokovic also played a large role in promoting Serbia to the 2009 World Group. On 6-8 March 2010, he played a key role in bringing Serbia to the World Group quarter-finals, for the first time in its independent history winning both singles matches in the home tie against the United States against Sam Querrey and John Isner. 2010 Davis Cup title and U.S. Open runner-up Djokovic started his year by playing in the Amy Classic, an exhibition event. In his first match, he defeated Haas before losing to Fernando Verdasco in his second. At the 2010 Australian Open, Djokovic lost a five-setter to Songer in the quarter-finals. Despite the loss, he attained a career-high ranking of world number two, and went on to reach the semi-finals of the ABN AMRO World Tennis Tournament in Rotterdam, where he lost to Eugenie. At the Dubai Tennis Championships, Djokovic reached the final, this time defeating Eugenie to win his first title of the year. Djokovic then took part in Serbia's Davis Cup tie against the United States on clay in Belgrade, and helped his country reach its first quarter-final in the Davis Cup with a 3-2 victory, defeating Query and Isner. At the Indian Wells Masters, Djokovic lost in the fourth round to Lubasak. At the Miami Masters, he lost in his opening match to Olivier Rockus. Djokovic then announced that he had ceased working with Todd Martin as his coach in his first clay court tournament of the year. At the Monte Carlo Rolex Masters, top-seeded Djokovic reached the semi-finals with wins over Warinka and David Nalbandian before losing to Verdasco. Djokovic again lost to Verdasco at the Internazionale Biennale di Italia in Rome, this time in the quarter-finals. As the defending champion at his hometown event, the Serbia Open in Belgrade, he withdrew in the quarterfinals while trailing Filip Krajinovic. Djokovic entered the French Open seeded third. He defeated Evgeny Korolev, K. Nishikori, Viktor Hanescu, and Robbie Ginopri en route to the quarterfinals, where he lost to Jurgen Melzer in five sets. Djokovic entered Wimbledon as the third seed defeating Rockus, Taylor Dent, Albert Montanez, Leighton Hewitt, and Yen Sun Lu en route to the semi-finals, which he lost to Tomas Berdic in straight sets. Djokovic then competed at the Rogers Cup in Toronto, where he lost to Federer in the semi-finals. Djokovic also competed in doubles with Nadal in a one-time, high-profile partnership. This had not happened since 1976, when Jimmy Connors and Arthur Ashe as world number one and number two paired together as a doubles team. They lost in the first round to Canadians Milos Raonic and Vasek Paspizil. Djokovic then lost to Roddick in the quarterfinals of the Cincinnati Masters as the third seed at the U.S. Open. Djokovic came very close to losing in his opening round against Viktor Troitsky in extreme heat. He then defeated Philip Hechner, James Blake, Marty Fish, and number 17 seed Gail Monfils, all in straight sets, to reach the U.S. Open semi-finals for the fourth consecutive year. There, he defeated Federer in five sets after saving two match points with forehand winners while serving to stay in the match at 4-5 in the fifth set. It was Djokovic's first victory over Federer at the U.S. Open in four attempts, and his first victory over Federer in a major since the 2008 Australian Open. Djokovic went on to lose to Nadal in the final, a match that saw Nadal complete his career Grand Slam. After helping Serbia defeat the Czech Republic 3-2 to make it to the Davis Cup final, Djokovic competed at the China Open as the top seed and defending champion. He won the title. 
For the second successive year, after defeating Mayox and Gong, Marty Fish, Jill Simon, and John Isner en route to the final, Djokovic then defeated Ferrer in the final. At the Shanghai Masters, Djokovic made a semi-final appearance, losing to Federer. Djokovic played his final tournament of the year at the ATP World Tour Finals in London. Djokovic was placed in Group A along with Nadal, Burdic, and Roddick. Djokovic won his first round Robin match against Burdic. He next lost to Nadal. He defeated Roddick in his final round Robin match and advanced to the semi finals, where he lost to Federer in two sets. Djokovic went on to win his two singles rubbers in Serbia's Davis Cup Finals victory over France. This started a long unbeaten run that went on into 2011. Djokovic finished the year ranked world number three, his fourth successive finish at this position. He was awarded the title, Serbian Sportsman of the Year by the Olympic Committee of Serbia, and, Serbian Athlete of the Year by DSL Sport. Serbia progressed to the Davis Cup final. Following the victories over Croatia and the Czech Republic, Serbia came from 1-2 down to defeat France in the final tie 3-2 in Belgrade to win the nation's first Davis Cup championship. In the final, Djokovic scored two singles points for Serbia, defeating Jill Simon and Gael Monfils. He was the backbone of the Serbian squad going 7-0 in singles rubbers to lead the nation to the title. Although the honor of winning the deciding rubber in the final went to compatriot Viktor Troitsky. 2011, three majors, five masters and ascent to number one. And clinching the world number one ranking following his victory in the semi-finals of the 2011 Wimbledon Championships. Djokovic won 10 tournaments in 2011, including Grand Slam tournament victories at the Australian Open, Wimbledon and the US Open. Djokovic also captured a record-breaking five ATP World Tour Masters 1000 titles, and set a new record for the most prize money won in a single season on the ATP World Tour. His level dropped at season's end beginning with a back injury and ended with a poor showing. At the ATP World Tour Finals, Djokovic finished the season with a 70-6 record, and a year-end ranking of world number one. Pete Sampras declared Djokovic's 2011 season as the best he has ever seen in his lifetime, calling it one of the best achievements in all of sports. Boris Becker called Djokovic's season one of the very best years in tennis of all time, adding that it may not be the best statistically, but HES beaten Federer, HES beaten Nadal, HES beaten everybody that came around to challenge him in the biggest tournaments in the world. Rafael Nadal, who lost to Djokovic in six finals on three different surfaces described Djokovic's performances as probably the highest level of tennis that I ever saw. Djokovic was named 2011 ITF World Champion. He also received the Golden Bagel Award by winning 13 sets with the result of 6-0 during the season. In the semi-finals of the 2011 Davis Cup, Djokovic played a crucial rubber match for Serbia against Juan Martin del Potro of Argentina, where he retired while trailing. After re-aggravating a back injury sustained during the US Open tournament, this secured Argentina's place in the final. This marks Djokovic's third loss of his 2011 season, and his second retirement. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.